What's up, everyone? Welcome back to After the Storm, and we are back with the NHL 2005 Dynasty Mode series. We're almost at the end of the year 2004. Um, we just started playing the game, so that's a important distinction to make. So let's go ahead and check the last few games. We had the win 2-0 against... Uh, oh, back-to-back 2-0 -back wins. I haven't played this in a little while, so it's uh, kind of not fresh. But, um, yeah, we seem to have somewhat got a handle on the gameplay stuff. It was uh, a little strange at first. There was a lot, probably too much goaltending um, happening <laughs> the, these games. And, I mean, even still, the 2 nothing stuff, I think I might have changed some stuff the last time I played it. But I haven't played in a very, very long time. So we'll play this one out and hopefully we get some back and forth games uh, I don't like everything being, you know, we do have a good goaltender in Jose Theodore, but honestly, the game should be more or less kind of even or more even, I should say, than uh, what we've seen so far. But going ahead and previewing the matchup, as we can see, Minnesota, 46 points. They're tied for first in the league with Buffalo. Second in the NHL, conference first, division first. We are a team that's battling them. This is a potential first-round playoff matchup if things, you know, stay the way they are uh, at the moment. Uh, we do have better offense, better defense, and better goaltending. Overall, we're a better team, but it seems to me that Minnesota is just playing very, very well. And in net, Jose Theodore versus Dwayne Rolison, two very good goaltenders, especially Dwayne Rolison at this time was really coming into his own. Jose Theodore's prime was on its way toward ending at this point, I think. I know he got traded in 0506, and then uh, kind of... He didn't really do a whole lot in Colorado. That was also when Colorado was heading towards a rebuild, too. So uh, two very, very good goaltenders here. So we won't wait around any longer. Let's go ahead, guys, and get into the game against the Minnesota Wild. We are live from Denver, Colorado. Pepsi Center, the site, a matchup between two surging Western Conference teams. The leader, Minnesota, and Colorado surging up the rankings with back-to-back -back shutout victories. For this team that's seen a lot of change this year. We're going to go to the Anthems next. Puck drop to follow. Puck is ready to be dropped here between these two squads. Colorado coming off back-to-back -back shutouts. Washington and Edmonton looking to be a little bit better. There's Brad Brendamore in acquisition this season between Carolina Hurricanes and the Minnesota Wild. Here's Sackick, a shot. Nice stop. Brendamore carries it in. Finds Smith. Ryan Smith. That's a New acquisition as well for the Wild. The longtime Edmonton Oilers. Hayduke lifts the puck into the opposite side. Kuba back there to get it. Smith brings that puck up, loses it to Tongay. Tongay will bring it back. Tries to get a wrist shot off. It's blocked. Hayduke, a nice play to break up the puck there. There's Rob Blake. Bumped off by Zuzan, and Gabrick will start back with it. Gabrick over to Smith. He takes a big bump. Loses it to Yager. Sackick there, a shot. Rolison will cover it. So we take a look at the lines tonight for the home team, the Avalanche. Martinex shot from the point, loved by Rollison and Bill Holden. Some changes for this squad, as you can see. Smith coming in. 
gets the captaincy too. And Brenda Moore, another addition there. Minnesota making some moves even at the at the top of the conference. On very on a uh, different pace than the Avalanche as Rolson makes another stop and holds that one too. A team that is surging and playing well and they're still making changes and at the other end Colorado who hasn't been playing very well continues to make changes as well a lot of turnover for the avalanche so far this season fans booing they wanted a penalty as Forsberg's going to lift that one into the behind Rolison. Yager gets the puck back in front of Solani he gets hooked before he can get the shot off and nothing comes of it there Sorovi into the zone, takes a hit, there's Solani, Solani, shot on, penalty, no penalty shot as Rolson made a nice stop there, but Travis Roche will go off for hooking on Timo Solani. Colorado to the first man advantage of the game tonight. McCult is going to win the draw there. It's pinned there, and the puck does come out of the zone. Saray, a pass off the board. Sackick looking to retrieve. He does. Takes a bump, though. He's going to get to the puck first in the corner. Turned over by Smith. Can't get shot away there was Tongay. Tongay back in front. Looking for a wrap chance, maybe, but Rollison's there to stop it. All abs early on in this game. Jose Theodore cold at the other end of the rink. We're nearly 10 minutes into the first period here. He hasn't faced anything. Skuba. Easily turned over by Vonnen. Aduk there. Pass. Not going to find anybody. And it's beyond the red line. So an icing call. Forsberg's going to win that draw right over to Hayduke. And they start out 2 on 2 back the other way. Hayduke a shot. Popped up. Forsberg drills it from a sharp angle. And Smith there. That's going to be offside. As Lyles broke up the play. Pass there by Surrey. Off the draw. Gets... Bungled. And that one will be offside as well. Tongay in in front to Sackick and what a save. Two chances there. Rollison standing tall at the latter par uh, portion of this power play. Brandon Moore back the other way. He gets a shot off. Oh, it took a funny bounce and went over Jose Theodore. Solani finds Tongay up the wing. Tongay spinning off. Tries to get a shot away. He can't. Puck comes out of the zone, and here comes Rod Brandon Moore. Dumping it in. Theodore's going to play it. Penalty has expired. And Minnesota kills it off. Roche out of the box. Oh, takes a big hit there from Rob Blake. And Solani's going to start back the other way. Solani shot. Good stop there by Rolison. There's a wraparound chance. And Solani, as his teammates are changing, finds a way to get it through. And the Avs lead the game 1-0. Oh, just tucked it short side on Rolison, who went down, thinking he might be going to that far post. And the Avs take a 1-0 lead. on the draw. He'll win. Martinek throw it to the opposite corner. Felician in there. Hooray. Shot. Ended up fluttering in front of Rollison and he jumped on the puck. Hey coach Joe Quendel has preached patience all year as a method of getting themselves back on track. Lots of changes. The GM has not been shy to make some. But a team that is maybe feeling the loss of Patrick Waugh is a penalty upcoming here to the Avalanche. Now Michael Lyle is going to go off for interference. 
He may be stunned a little bit by the sudden departure of Patrick Waugh last season against this very Minnesota team being eliminated. Or I should say two seasons ago being eliminated by this very Minnesota squad in the first round. Saray dumps it down. Killing some valuable time off the penalty. Brandon Moore. Turned over there to Blake. Blake spins off. Turns and fires. A slap shot that gets blocked. Forsberg has shot that one. The locker well away. Nikolishin will just dump that one down. Back in front to Nikolishin. Oh, a one-timer there. And Rollison's got that one. And some words being exchanged between the two. Very quiet period for Jose Theodore. Vaughn and in comes back, and this power play hasn't been much of a power play at all for the Minnesota Wild. Laxon and in. There's a chance, but a weak one onto Theodore there. And Vaughn and in clears it down. 30 seconds to go in the power play. Turned over. There's Sackick. He'll take a hit. Killing some time off the clock, though. Solani with a hit. He's got the goal here. Shard there. That'll be offside. On the draw, Brendan Moore will win it. Find Smith. There's a hit. Theodore makes that save look easy. And here comes Jeff Hamilton back the other way. Takes a hook. No call. Nardneck turns that puck over. Hamilton there and turns it over again. Here's Darby Hendrickson. Darby Hendrickson. Shot on. Went low. Good pad stop by Rollison. Final minute of the first. Here's Brendan Moore and he snipes one. Rod Brandamore and the Minnesota Wild tie this one up Theodore not a lot of work gets his first prime chance of the game and it soars right past him so we have a tie game here in the final minute of the first so we head ourselves towards the first intermission here's Roche back the other way shot scores Travis Roche Back-to-back -back goals on that glove side from Jose Theodore. And the Minnesota Wild, just like that, turn a period that they were not in at all into a lead heading into the break. Two goals in the final minute of this period. Minnesota goal, scored by number 71. The shutout streak comes to an end. Two daggers of goals here at the end of the first period. We'll be back with the second from Colorado. Shots 15 to 5 in the first period for the Colorado Avalanche. Both teams traded power play opportunities, but the Wild in the final minute getting goals from Roche and Brendamore, both on the glove side of Jose Theodore as Wiles has played that one down and that'll be an icing as Mihalik touches it up. 19 wins on the season so far for Dwayne Rollison at 242 goals against. Playing some extremely good goal for the Minnesota Wild. One of the big reasons they are so high up in the standings. Brendan Moore got a goal in that first period. Wins that draw that's back in front. Scrambled a good stick there by Theodore. Hey Duke. Back in front, Surrey shot. Oh, he tried to go glove side on Rolson. So you take a look at that good glove save by Dwayne Rolson. The only goal so far, a wraparound chance by Timo Solani. Found its way through. Forsberg on the draw here is Yager. Yager shot. Doesn't even get through. McCult. 
Turned over to Vonanen. Played it back to Yager here. Yarmer Yager. Swinging out wide. Gets rubbed out along the boards. Chance and Lyles, the speedy defender, back the other way. Shot stopped by Rollison. Bouchard. Good play by Solani. Plays it down. Semenov. Back in front, Forsberg. Oh, he was looking for Yager, who was coming in. Depot was intercepted there by Dwayne Rollison. Here comes Yager again. Yager shakes off a hit. Shot. Went short side again. Nice pad stop by Rolson. He's made a few in this one. Laxon in. Shot. And there was one on the glove side that Theodore gets. Back in front over to Hayduke. And a good stop by Rolison there. Gabrick. Sniper finds Hayduke. Or Kuba, rather. Back in front. Oh, a nice play. And played out as... Brendan Moore got a one-timer off. Back around. Heydu gets knocked down. Brendan Moore into the zone. Takes a big hip check from Rob Blake. Sackick there. Shot scores. Oh, what an individual effort. His 20th of the season. And the captain, Joe Sackick, ties this game back up. Shakes off the, the hip check. One leg balances, keeps his balance corrals the puck and finds it just above the pad and just below the blocker. Dwayne Rolson, we got a tie game here. Martinek, back below the goal line. Roche, who's got a goal in this one, takes a huge hit. Bure there. Tchaikovsky and turns that puck over. Here's Bure. Bure knocked down as he tried to get to the net. A good body check there. Schwinard. Rycroft. Back in. Big stop by Theodore. Just going to hold this one. Big goal by Sakic, Getting his way through the defenders. An excellent goal to tie this game up. The draw come to the right of Jose Theodore. Here's Forsberg. He loses it to Brennamore. One of the best face-off men around the league. Gabrick at the line. Shot. It's blocked. And there's Yager. Yager away. <laughs> got knocked down kept the puck though but a chance that was great a turns into a weak one as Rolison finds that puck easily seven goals on the year for Rod Brendamore now Blake slap shot big stop by Rolison there and he'll play it out Semenov Bouchard back in Bouchard that puck played right down Oh, and Tongay just overskated a gift of a pass. That would have put him on a breakaway. Blake down the other way blocks a shot from McCult. There's Bouchard. McCult below the goal line. Bouchard again. McCult and Bouchard having the puck here on a string. Blackson in back in front. A big stop by Theodore. And here come the Avs. Sakic finds Hadu. Hayduk shot. Oh, it went up in the air, but Semenov grabbed it away. Made it been going over Rolson and into the net. Bouchard back the other way. Play could play there to break it up. Final seconds now. Sakic a shot on. That will do it. An exciting second period. Sees a lone goal from the captain, Joe Sakic. We head to the break. 2-2. Third period upcoming. A heavily dominated offensive game from the Colorado Avalanche. But we've got a tie one here. Forsberg off that face off. Shakes off a defender. Brandamore though gets it back and here comes Ryan Smith. Smith turns. Lyles meets him. Gabrick there. Kuba back behind the net. Cuba back in front. Oh, tried a nice deke play. And here comes Yager. Yager behind the net. Looking for Solani out front. Here's Forsberg. Back in front. Oh, Rolison's all over that pass. Read it all the way. Grabs that one and holds. Timu Solani getting his seventh of the season along with Rod Brennamore in this game. 
out of two goals for the Avs tonight. Hedu turns, fires, it's blocked. Bouchard's going to retrieve it. Takes a bump there, but here comes Laxanen. Laxanen in, Tongay hard on the back check, breaks it up. Pass there, here comes Sakic. Shot, roll us in with the stop, and we'll hold. These two teams competing in that northeast or northwest division, rather, this season. Potential playoff matchup as Cherkovsky lets a hard wrister go. That's blocked. Schminard through. Gets a shot away. Gets stopped by Theodore. Up to Nikolishin. Nikolishin. Hooray there. Cherkovsky took a hell of a check. As he went through, there's Rycroft. Bugner. Nice play to find that puck over to Cherkovsky. He gets interfered with no call. Refs really letting them play as the fans let them hear it. Martinek back into the zone. Tchaikovsky behind the net, chasing the Holic, but he'll find his way out. Schminard, back the other way, gets shot. Stopped by Theodore on that blocker side. And Rollison plays it up. Oh, there's Smith. Nice play there. And a blatant interference penalty that does not get called. As Joe Sackick going to that puck, trying to beat out the icing, he just gets crunched on the boards. But the referees have let them play, the penalty aside in this game, but are letting them play here in the third. Eight minutes to go. Here's Solani. Deep shot. Low pad. Big stop by Rolson. Yager rubs him out. Forsberg lets a shot go, just didn't want to turn it over. Forsberg breaks it up from Jeff Schultz. Bouchard takes a hit. Laxanen's going to recover the puck from Yager, though, in the corner, and he'll bring it back the other way. Here's McCult. Bill McCult. Back in front to Laxanen scores. Anti Laxanen. As this wild team does not need many chances to put one in the back of the net. 3-2, 5.25 to go here in the third. Minnesota goal, scored by number 24, Anthony Laxanen, assisted by number Blake there, knocks Smith over. Here comes Tongay the other way, with a head of steam. Back in front, oh, looking for Hayduke there. Saray deep in there to pinch. But it might cost them, here's Smith back the other way. Blake back there in time though. Here's Hayduke. Hayduke back, looking for somebody. Sakic has the puck. There's Tongay, and a shot stopped by Rolison. Two minutes to go here in the third. 16 wins on the season for Jose Theodore. A couple of shutouts back to back coming into this one, but Minnesota here has found a way to score three on him. Here's Hayduke. Turns, fires. Oh, Sakic with a rebound there. Couldn't get it away though. There's Gabrick. Another play with the fans looking for a call. Back out in front. Sackett's pass. Didn't get through. There's a hit by Forsberg. Forsberg down low. Shot in front. It's recovered. Forsberg there again. Hadu. Over to Forsberg. Shot. Oh, and nice stop by Rollison. Back in front to Hadu again. And it looks like Colorado will take a timeout and pull the goalie. Theodore to the bench. Six on five. Let's see if they can get it going. Here's Hayduke. Off the draw. Shot. In front. Tongue there gets the rebound. Gabrick back the other way. Here comes Smith. He gets broken up by Surrey just as he was about to shoot it into the gaping net. Turns, fires off of Surrey. Smith gets it back. And a 4-2 lead for Minnesota. That is likely how this one will end. Minnesota taking two points on the road tonight against the Colorado Avalanche. Minnesota goal scored by number 94.
Here's Smith. Front takes a big hit there. The Avs will come down for one last chance. Puck out of the zone. Pollock there with the puck. And that will do it. Time expires. Minnesota, 4-2 win on the road. And tied for the league lead, they continue their hot play in the middle portion of the season. We'll leave you with the three stars of the game, and we'll join you for the next Avalanche broadcast. So I, I would say that, I wanted to say at least, that that was a disappointing loss. But you know what? That really wasn't. That was actually kind of how I was hoping that game would go, that uh, it'd be back and forth. And a team that is performing really well, the Minnesota Wild, took advantage of a, a goalie that was cold in the first period. I think we'd obviously like to see Theodore stop more pucks than that. But that otherwise, that's a good, solid game. Uh, I can't I don't have any complaints with that one, so... That's a fun game. That was back and forth. We got a couple goals. Minnesota played very, very well. They got the late goal by Laxanen. So with that game in the books, we have our next matchup that we'll preview here against the Vancouver Canucks. So Vancouver sitting 20th in the league, 33 points. There's not much of a gap between us and them. Uh, so this is a team that we really shouldn't, we really need to go out and get two points against because we need to just, you know, we really got, like, we're eighth. We, we, we're we definitely a better team than than the way that we've been all season, that's for sure. We were starting to turn it around there, but, that, uh, again, I don't think we there's much cause for concern. But a team that we should, like, Minnesota, that's a respectable loss. They're a very good team. They're playing very well. Uh, on the other hand, though, Vancouver here struggling. Uh, they're one of the better teams around the league, of course, but having a bad season here and... Yeah, let's go ahead and get these two points in the next episode against these guys and uh, just kind of solidify our, our our spot here. Like, we got to make sure we're in these playoffs. Previewing the goalies, we're going to stick with Theodore. I thought he played fine. He had a couple weak goals against him, uh, but obviously he was pretty, pretty good. Just despite his where his bullseye is, which I, th I believe indicates weakness in the game, uh, he got beat on that glove side a lot in the Minnesota game. So I think for the three goals that went in and then... Of course, there was the empty netter, so uh, he got beat on that glove side all three times. So that'll be something maybe we can start forcing the play to the other side and maybe help him out a little bit and maybe put everything on his blocker side, and that'll iron some things out defensively for us. And on the other side, Dan Cluche, an 85 overall, a solid goaltender, but not as good, of course, as Jose Theodore, so we should have the goaltending advantage in this game. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode thank you so much for watching we'll be back with the next episode very 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 soon this was episode i just had to check it because i haven't done this in a while just had to check uh episode that was episode number 33 we'll be back with episode 34 very very soon up against the vancouver canucks still at home until then thank you so much for watching guys hit that like button down below if you like today's video hit the subscribe button hit that notification bell too so you can get these videos as soon as they upload and as always I'll catch you guys on the next one.